I wanted to do a video on something called EDTA and what it's good for. Now, I'm not going to even tell you what EDTA stands for. It's this long chemistry name that you really don't even need to know, but here's what you should know. EDTA is a uh, chelator. It's a metal chelator. What does that mean? The word chelate comes from the word claw. So when you chelate, you actually bind with a metal and you pull it out. So EDTA helps pull out certain metals and minerals out from the body. And it's also good for getting rid of uh, mercury and lead poisoning. So if you have too much calcium, for example, or iron, it can help pull those out. But the problem is it pulls out other minerals too, like magnesium, zinc, and many other minerals. So you have to make sure that you're putting back in the minerals that you need uh, while you're pulling out the minerals that you have too much of. Because most of the symptoms related to EDTA uh, relate to a zinc deficiency. So as long as you're putting some of these minerals back into the body, you won't have the symptoms. But some side effects could be arrhythmias because it's pulling out magnesium and potassium, uh, hypocalcemia. So of course you would want to regulate this by not taking too much EDTA. You take just certain amounts. You wouldn't want to necessarily take it every single day for a long period of time. It can create hypotension, okay, because it's pulling out uh, salt. It can also potentially cause prolonged bleeding and cramps. So make sure you put back in the minerals that you want and not just pull everything out. But what is this good for? Well, it helps to decalcify your arteries if you have calcium buildup in the arteries. Number two, it helps reduce biofilms. Biofilms are small uh, igloos of calcium protecting microbes. And biofilms are basically a survival mechanism that microbes use to help uh, protect themselves against antibiotics and other pathogens. The problem is they're related to a lot of diseases and uh, heart disease and problems throughout your body. Number three, it can help reduce something called ROS, which has to do with oxidation. Why? Because you're getting rid of the metals that are creating more oxidation. So you can help reduce this oxidative effect. Number four, it can help reduce high blood pressure. It can help reduce iron if you have too much of it. And a lot of men have way too much iron because the thing about iron is your body has a hard time getting rid of it. Um, and so if you take it on a regular basis because you're eating a lot of red meats or iron supplements uh, or spinach or whatever, um, you might not be able to get rid of it and it can create some problems with your liver, etc. Number six, high calcium. If you have too much calcium, I think this would be a good thing to help reduce that amount of calcium. Calcium is another mineral that is difficult to remove from the body. So if you're taking a lot of calcium in the diet, you might not be able to get rid of it. And number seven, high copper, as in Wilson's disease, where you can't get rid of this excess copper and it's creating a lot of problems. EDTA can help counter excess copper. All right, thanks for watching and check with your doctor before taking something like this, especially if you're on medication, especially if you have heart disease, because you'd want them involved in this process. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.